Ventimax. In this video, we're going to be reviewing how to use an alternative fee schedule for items that are not covered by insurance. For an example, we're going to pull up our patient Cheryl Smith and open her patient information screen. Under her insurance plan, she has MetLife Insurance. If I click MetLife and open up her insurance plan details, on the coverage table, we'll be able to see that implants are not a covered item. They're covered at 0% by MetLife, her insurance plan. Because of this, if there's an item that's not a covered benefit, depending on your contract with your insurance company, you may be able to bill a charge out at your full office fee instead of the insurance contract rate. You'll want to call and verify that with the insurance companies, but in the cases where you're allowed to do this, Denimax now has an option for you to use an alternative fee schedule instead of the contracted rates for that particular code or set of codes. On the coverage tab, you'll be able to see up here at the top, there's a checkbox to use an alternate fee schedule, and then you're able to select which alternate fee schedule you want to choose to bill the patient in the event that you're not going to be using the MetLife fee for that particular set of codes. And then down below, you'll be able to select use alternate fee schedule for that code range. If there's an example where it's only one particular code, you'll be able to break this code range down further by clicking add coverage and then put in the particular code that you want to be in that code range. For example, if we just want to do the implant itself, covered at 0% with a standard deductible, and then the rest of the codes we can have with zero coverage with the regular MetLife fee schedule, whereas this single implant code will have zero coverage with the alternative fee schedule of your office fee. Currently, the 6010 under MetLife has a fee schedule allowance of $1,350, and the fee schedule for your office fees for a D6010 is $1,500. So what should happen is when we bill out a D6010 for this patient, it should automatically bill out at the $1,500 rate instead of the $1,350 rate allowing your office to collect the full amount on that procedure since it's not a covered benefit by the insurance. I'm going to go ahead and save our changes. And now under Cheryl's chart screen, we'll make a treatment plan for that item. We'll go to our fixed and removable prosthetics, select placement of implant, and let's say we're going to place that on tooth number five. You'll notice here the D6010 shows up for number five at $1,500 instead of the $1,350. And let's say we completed that item. We can click Post Transactions and Post Selected on the patient's ledger screen. We're going to also see that that item is billed out at the full $1,500. If you have any further questions on alternative fee schedules, feel free to contact the training department at 1-800-704-8494 or email training at dentamax.com. Thank you.